The following question reads that I read five ions react with sulfite ions in acidic solution at pH 5. So there's this reaction that's going on. Iodate ions and sulfite ions are reacting and this reaction is happening and the solution is acidic. Now the initial rate of the reaction was found to be first order with respect to IO3 minus 1. So it is first order with respect to IO3 minus 1. And first order with respect to SO3, 2 minus ions. So that is also 1. This is also order 1. And it's also first order with respect to H plus 1 ions, uh, which is probably acting as a catalyst. So with all three uh, uh, reactants and the catalyst, it's found to be first order. Now you're being asked to write the rate equation for this reaction, stating the units of the rate constant K. The first thing is find, uh, we're going to write the rate equation. The rate equation is going to be K. And SO3, 2 minus concentration. The order is 1. H plus 1 concentration, the order is also 1. And IO3 minus 1 concentration, the order is also 1. Now, the next part is that I need to find the units of K. So, I'm going to... Uh, the units of rate are mole per dm cube per second. So I'm going to take it as x s minus 1, which is uh, where x is basically mole per dm cube. So uh, mole per dm cube per second or x per second. And then it has k. And then it's concentration multiplied by concentration multiplied by concentration. I'm taking concentration as x. So it's going to be x multiplied by x multiplied by x. So it's uh, it's going to become x cubed. Uh, take x to the other side and these things they cancel out and the unit for k would then be x minus 2 and s minus 1 and what was x x was mole per dm cube so i'm going to substitute mole per dm cube over here back again so it's going to become mole minus 2 and dm would become 6 and it would be s minus 1 so that's going to be the unit for k uh, i remember one thing that uh, it becomes much easier if you don't use mole per dm cube instead of concentration, you take x. Uh, that way, simplification becomes a lot easier and there are lesser chances of making mistakes. Now, moving to the next part, uh, the question then states that the rate of the reaction depends on the pH of the solution. Assuming all other concentrations remain the same, use the expression to calculate the value of x. So, we have the rate equation with us and I need to find the rate at pH 5 and the rate at pH 4 assuming uh, that all other concentrations they remain the same so this is the key that all other concentrations should remain the same now here's the expression i need to find rate and as we have previously discussed uh, that rate is equal to k times so3 2 minus concentration h plus 1 concentration and io3 minus 1 concentration and with all three respects the order is said to be one so what we basically want is we want the rate at ph5 so the only thing that would be changing would be the H plus 1 concentration at pH 5. And below it's the rate at pH 4. So the only thing that would be changing would be the rate at pH, the H plus 1 concentration at pH 4. All other concentrations are set to be the same. So that means IO3 minus 1, that gets cancelled out. SO3 2 minus, that gets cancelled out. And K rate constant only depends on temperature. And since we are not changing temperature, that also gets cancelled out. So basically the value of X is, it's H plus 1 concentration at pH 5 divided by the H plus 1 concentration at pH 4. That would give us the value of X. So that's what we're going to do. How do you find, uh, what is pH 5? If pH is 5, uh, pH is minus log of H plus 1 and the concentration is... 5 so h plus 1 concentration would actually become 10 to the power minus 5 and if the ph is 4 then i know that ph is minus log of h plus 1 concentration and that's basically 4 so h plus 1 concentration would actually become 10 to the power minus 4 so basically over here uh, in this question I just need to substitute uh, a specimen concentration at pH 5 and that's what I'm going to do. So let's try and find the value of x. So at pH 5, it's 10 to the power minus 5. And at the bottom, it's 10 to the power minus 4. 
And what this would give me is minus 5 and minus minus that would become plus 4. So it's going to become 10 power minus 1 and that is going to be my value uh, for x.